so, so one of the great things about uh, s studying energy and environment is how fast things can change, right? So in 2008, um, U.S. emissions uh, from burning fossil fuels were uh, rising inexorably, and I can't speak either. Um, and uh, you had the uh, House pass uh, a, a bill for uh, putting a cap and trade legislation in place. And here we are, um, five years later, and uh, U.S. emissions had, have hit a 20-year low, and we don't have any climate policy. Okay? And, and so why is that the case? Well, one of the big reasons is because we've um, been cutting back on using coal plants and electric power generation. Why is a subject of debate? One of the big reasons appears to be because of low natural gas prices from the shale gas boom, making it more economic to uh, generate power with natural gas plants than with coal plants. Um, but there's also um, uh, an argument that it's uh, tightening EPA regulations on existing um, uh, uh, emissions, NOx, SOx, particulate matter, and now mercury, that may be driving coal out. So uh, Dahlia and myself and our colleague uh, Drew Herr, uh, working with Jonas Monast and the Nicholas Institute, um, as well as the Center for Globalization uh, Governments and whatever. I, <laughs> um, I never get that right. Um, I started, decided to take a look at this problem. We basically um, uh, uh, decided to focus on the cost of generating a megawatt hour of electricity. Now, the biggest factor in generating that, uh, a megawatt hour of electricity, it turns out, once you've invested in the plant, is the fuel cost. And the fuel cost is simply the fuel price price for natural gas or coal on a, a dollar per energy unit basis times the efficiency of the plant. Now, if you, um, if you look at the efficiency of, of coal plants and natural gas plants, they're very similar. Um, they have a distribution. You know, the recent plants are more efficient. So think of my, the, my right fingers as being more efficient and therefore low cost, and my left fingers being more expensive um, and, and less efficient. <clears throat> and generally, they're very close to one another. The thing that separates whether or not the plant costs, or the plants are economic is the cost of natural gas versus coal, or the ratio between the two. Now, for much of, uh, of, the, of the past recorded history, coal has been cheaper than natural gas by um, uh, as much as four times. And so natural gas plants have been more expensive to run than coal plants. But um, starting about 2007, when you really started to see shale gas production take off, price of natural gas has been declining. And there's actually been a small increase in the price of coal. So as a result, the cost effectiveness of these plants have been merging such that by 2011, essentially the cheapest coal plants were as um, cost effective to run as the most expensive natural gas plants. And that was about when natural gas was two times the price of coal. Now by February 2012, that ratio had dropped to less than one and a half. And so you had a significant overlap between natural gas uh, uh, plant economics and coal plant economics. And, um, and so that's why you've heard a lot about this kind of, among other things, the shift to, to shale gas, right? But one of the things that utilities have been worried about is whether or not natural gas prices are going to go up because they're ex historically more expensive. And in fact, last I checked, which is a couple weeks ago, they'd risen to about 1.8. So remember, at 2, you go back to shifting to being coal more expensive. However, at the same time that this is going on, the EPA is tightening its regulations of NOx and SOx, particulate matter and mercury. And you know, both plants will need, in, in, or both types of plants will have plants that need to upgrade um, their emission control systems to meet these tighter standards, and that's going to add to their costs. Now, both coal and uh, natural gas emit NOx, and so uh, they'll, they'll shift in unions in, in some sense, but coal also emits SOx particulate matter and mercury. So what ends up happening is their costs go up, and in fact they spread because you have uh, uh, plants that really, you know, older plants have been around for a long time that are much more expensive. So now you have coal being significantly more expensive than natural gas to meet these new regulations. And even if you move natural gas prices up to multiples of coal, you will still have uh, a fraction, a significant fraction of natural gas plants that are cheaper to run than coal plants. And one of the interesting things about this is that these emission standards, in some sense, are even more effective at pricing out coal than a tax of, say, $20 per ton on CO2. And so um, you know, what we 
what we're looking at now is what this implies, for example, of building out uh, natural gas uh, infrastructure, um, what it implies for the employment situation for coal, and what it applies for um, utilities moving forward. 